going to be using this um, mannequin head. It's in the size 23. I already put the wig cap on there. I got this from Amazon. I'll list it in my bio below. This is the hair that I'm going to be using. I did a review on it in one of my other videos. You can check it out. I'm going to have it in my description box below. This is a 30 inch bundle, a 32 inch bundle, and a 34 inch bundle. So this is the first time that I'm going to be trying <laughs> really, really long hair like this. Um, I also have a closure that I will be bleaching today because the knots, you can't really notice them, but I can. So I'm just going to, you know, bleach it a little bit. The lace is pretty good. I always order from this hair company. I never really had an issue with them. So today I'm just going to bleach the knots and you know show you guys how I make a wig. So for bleaching the knots, I'm going to be using Clairol Professional Basic White Extra Strength um, Bleaching Powder. And I'm going to be using Coral Professional Pure White uh, What is this called again? <laughs> Cream Developer in Strength. 30 because you don't want it to be too strong it's gonna like mess up the lace and your hair's gonna start shedding and you know all that other stuff so i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna show you guys how i bleach the knots and everything and yeah okay you guys so i'm gonna get started with these closure i have the bundles over there sitting i'm gonna start out with the powder and this is what it looks like you could probably get this from your local uh beauty supply store i had this for a very very long time so yeah it still lasted me probably about as long as it possibly can i don't think there's any expiration date on here you could use it whenever it does have a really strong odor so i would recommend you to like wear like a mask or even wear gloves with it i'm gonna be using this put some of the powder in and I also put down like a garbage bag so it doesn't mess up my bed or whatever service you're using you're gonna want to put something down so yeah and this is the developer that I'm gonna be using once again you can also get this from any local beauty supply store or you can even get it from Amazon I got this from the beauty supply store it cost me three dollars and change and this cost me $15 and change, as you can see. So the powder comes with like a, a little spoon thing. So you don't, so you don't really need like, you know, a bunch of like tools or whatever. So it comes with this. I'm just going to put a little bit because I'm only bleaching the, the knots. And you don't want to put a cat size of the developer. And pour it in. I'm going to put another cat size. And pour it in. So, however, if you do need more, you can always go back in and, you know, add more to it. But Right now, I do not need any more, so I'm just going to stick with what I have. So I'm just going to mix it with my comb, like so. And you don't want the powder to get too, too thick. So you don't want it to be too watery either. So if you do find your powder looking like this, you're definitely going to want to put more developer in it. So the cap size in this I do think it could use another cap size but I'm going to put only a little bit, just a little bit of it. Not too much, just a little. And 
and that should definitely be good that should be way good enough okay anything more than that is dragging it and you don't want to drag it so so I'm gonna let this sit for 10 to 25 minutes and then I'm gonna wash it out with some of my shimmer lights shampoo this basically gets rid of like the undertone and once you bleach something it always has an undertone to it so we're gonna want to get rid of all that so i'm gonna wash it with some shimmer light shampoo uh you can get this also from amazon or your local beauty supply store i had this for a very very long time once again and it cost me you can't really see the price but it was 17 dollars and change so yeah, I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna wash this out in about 25 minutes and I'm gonna show you guys the results. So y'all, I just finished washing the hair out and <laughs> let me just say that, um, hold up. Let me just say that uh, <laughs> the lace is good, but look, look at this mistake y'all. Look at what I did y'all. Hopefully, just don't affect the hair. But, yeah. Yeah. I don't know what to do with myself at this point. At this point, it's just like, I'm going to make it work. You feel me? I'm going to just have to make this work. Like, look, y'all. Look at this, y'all. <laughs> So I basically, I guess I let the hair sit a little too long and it accidentally bleached some of the hair. However, it did not damage the hair. <laughs> so I'm not that mad. I might just go over it with like some black or some type of regular hair dye to just make it back to the regular color that it was. <sighs> so yeah, like, I don't know. Like I've been bleaching knots for a long time now and this is the first time this really happened to me but you know what hey it is what it is man it is what it is so <laughs> don't be like me you know don't let your hair sit for that long however i didn't let i didn't let it sit that long but at the same time it's still uh it's still over processed the hair or whatever and not even over processed. You know what probably happened? I believe that the, the bleach went over the lace and that's why like that happened. But hey, I'm still gonna work with it. You know, I'm not mad. I'm gonna work with it. I'm gonna see if I like it when I do sew the wig on. If I do, I'm gonna keep it. If I don't, then this is gonna, this is just gonna, this is just gonna have to go, honey. Okay. And yeah, so I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna put this on a mannequin, sew it on and everything and show you the further steps. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna begin sewing the closure. Before I do that, I'm just gonna show you guys what I'm gonna be using today. I'm gonna be using this little thread and needle. And I'm gonna be using these regular scissors, okay, to cut off another thread so I already knotted the thread here as you can see but I'm gonna cut it right here and make the knot smaller because you do not want your wig to be lumpy For those of you who do not know how to do the knot thing, I'm just going to show you. So you're just going to take the two ends, wrap it around your finger, like so. One, two, three, and now you're just going to roll it with your two fingers. And if you can't roll it, just roll it, grab it up here, 
pull it. Pull it as much as you can. And you have a knot. Okay? So you have a knot on this side, and then you have your thread. Do not mind my nails. It's quarantine, y'all, and I'm going through it. I'm just going to place the closure right in the middle. And it doesn't really matter where exactly you put it, but you're going to want to you're gonna want to put it right in the middle so while you're making the wig you know exactly what you're doing and how you're doing it next i'm going to i don't know if you hear me like if not i might have to do like a little voiceover but let me turn the air conditioning off so y'all can hear me really really good and it's hot outside but i want y'all to hear me So now, back to this. Uh, so first, you're just gonna wanna go to the side and pin it with one of your pins, like so. And this is to make sure that your closure doesn't move while you're sewing it. Once you sew enough in the back, you do not need to have those pins there any longer. I'm gonna move the hair and make sure this is flat. So you're gonna have to pin it right over here. But first, let me make sure all the hair is out of the way. And you're gonna pin it right at the corner through the mannequin head. Okay, cool. So now what you wanna do is, so once you've done that, you're gonna wanna flip all the hair to the front, like so, and just brush out all the hair that's in the back. Okay, and you're gonna wanna move it let me just rotate this, y'all, so y'all can see what's really going on here. Okay. So you're going to hold this, right? Wait, hold up. Ugh. Damn, y'all, this is so hard to do sometimes. All right. Wait, 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 wait. Focus up, baby. Okay, so now <laughs> you're going to take the other end of the lace aka the back of the lace pull it back right you're gonna pull it back like so and you're gonna take another pin and you're gonna want to make sure that it's flat on this side okay bam so this side of the wig is completely flat and we're gonna sew that. Now we have to do this side and make sure this side is flat. And the hair is still kind of damp, but that is okay. So the not that I is So we're gonna make for your for your glue most part one of the tracks, right? Because we want to get a little bit so first, we're gonna this through the cap, right? Because the knot did not get caught in lace. Oh, not nice. You the cap. So now I'm just gonna go through there. Like so. I'm gonna do that. See this? I'm gonna get this a little bit. Wait, I'm gonna pull it like this. And make sure that's not gonna come out. It doesn't matter how far apart you do the color. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how far apart you guys do the knot. Not so that's all it is. Really, okay. I'm gonna move this knot. I'm gonna get the knot. Alright, I'm gonna get the next one through here. Right? I'm gonna pull it through like so. Make sure it's well knotted. Okay. You do this way because you never not going to go at all. Okay, because we're going to see closures that are going to be under. Okay, so I'm going to pull through the cap, right? Pull it. Right? And the whole right here is just going right through that. Yeah. So we're going to do a detailed video on this because you know that's explaining that. But it's easy to do all the time. I'm going 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 to do all the or you 
So we're getting close to the edge and I'm just going to zoom in a little more for you guys so y'all see what's really going on. Okay, so do not sew this. You're going to sew right next to it, okay? Right next to it, like so. You're going to loop it, pull it, like I said before, and knot it, okay? Knot it. Bam. So now this is the little tricky part, okay? Because remember, there's an elastic under this fabric. You do not, you do not <laughs> want to get your thread through the elastic. And this is the main issue with people who try to make wigs and they're wondering why, oh, the wig doesn't fit my head. I did everything right. What's going on? I gotta remove the whole entire closure. I have to remove the whole entire frontal. No, you do not. No, you do not. All you have to do is make sure it does not go through this elastic band that is inside of this fabric, okay? So we're gonna start right here, right? And we're gonna make sure that there's no elastic in here. There's no elastic. And you're gonna know when there's elastic because you're gonna feel how thick that, that uh, thread is struggling to go through the cap, all right? And we're gonna do this again. So sometimes the thread may get caught in between the uh, lace and all you have to do is just go back in with your thread that you're holding and look, it's basically two pieces. So anytime that happens, you're just going to want to kind of tuggle on both of them to get the thread all the way through. So now that we get to the front. Well, when we get to the front, we're going to basically just knot the hair. Well, not the hair. We're going to knot the lace. So I'm going to remove this pen here, right? And this hair that's in the way. Right? And we're going to put this thread through this one more time. 
So, two more times. Okay. I really want this leg to be secure. So, right here, I'm just gonna go here, put it through. through for the last time right here and what you're gonna do is when you get to the last part of the wig which is basically the front the two front ends of the wig you're gonna want to hold this piece of thread right after you went under and looped it okay so you're gonna hold the, th the thread and the pin. You're gonna wrap this part around as much as times as you want. If you want it to be really secure, you can wrap it around at least three to four or five times if, you know, whatever your preference is. And you're gonna pull it through. And you're gonna keep your finger there until you get close to the end and basically knot it. Sometimes it loops like that and you're gonna have to like really pull on it. So you're gonna pull on it and this is secure okay this is really really secure y'all okay it's not going anywhere I'm gonna repeat the same thing that I did to the other side of the wig okay so now we're just gonna cut off the excess thread we're gonna cut it right here right here And we're basically gonna tie this, okay? Cause sometimes it gets loose, it loosens up and you do not want that to happen because if that happens, your lace is gonna come apart. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna knot it two or three times, right? Whatever your preference is, once again. And then I'm gonna cut it one more time close to the wig. Okay, and that side is finished. Okay, y'all, this side is not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere, baby girl. Okay, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Look at y'all. Look at look at this. Look at this. Where's it going? where's it going where is it <laughs> where is it nowhere okay it's not going anywhere so all right let me stop playing i'm gonna um you know finish this wig up well the closure obviously i'm gonna finish this side it is not done so i'm gonna be back when i'm finished with the other side of the closure and i'm just gonna demonstrate how i sew on the tracks Okay, y'all, so I'm done sewing the wig. Well, I'm done sewing the um, the uh, closure, guys. And it is laid, 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 honey, laid. Okay, I'm done. And I'm, now I'm going to be... Okay, y'all, so first I'm going to start off with the 34-inch bundle. And I will be... Uh, sewing it to the bottom of the cap right and I'm just going to demonstrate the first few bundles to show you guys how I get started you know how I sew it and how I end it or you know even how I knot it okay guys so right now I'm gonna start the first track about right here right and I'm gonna start this track really, really low, just for the simple fact that I want this wig to be long, long, long. Okay, you want it to be really, really long. So I'm gonna put this in here a few times because this is some long hair, all right? It's a lot of hair that I'm using and we do not want this to, uh, leave
know what I'm saying? And I just be like, nobody even gonna know that it took me this long to even finish the video. Because we're not gonna get into the girls, so I'm gonna get you. Later, honey. Later. Oh, it's not really. You just have to text, right? Four. So you know how long? Like, you know how many dollars? Why you gonna have a dollar? Did you get your dollar? I'm gonna get my dollar. Relax. It's not important. You ready to go? You want to get a car? You want to get a car? You want to get a car? No, I'm gonna get a car. You want to get a car? No, I'm gonna get a car. 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 No, I'm gonna get